my friends, how you all doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a fresh episode of FM21 and the Project The Black Sea. My friends, uh, last episode is above for you right now. It was really essentially a season wrap up. You got to watch the team lift the trophy, my friends. I'm not spoiling it for you. It went out a while ago. I'm going to be fiddling with my microphone again. Um, but yeah, it went out a little while ago. So yes, my friends, it's a season roundup. Last game of the season, all that good stuff is a good one. Still go watch it regardless because you get to see what an amazing season it was for Latex. But today, we get kicked off in the big leagues. We are up to the FBET League, and uh, we're going to start the preliminary phase in today's episode. We've got transfers to talk about. We've got season uh, you know, predictions to talk about. It's not been a great window. It's going to be a very difficult season, but let's get into it. So at the beginning of every season, I like to start with transfers. I like to show you the new players that have joined the club. I like to show you the players that have left the club. Um, and I like to show you the deals that are on the verge of being done as well, if there are any. And there are a few players that I'm looking at at the minute. Now, it's been a very, very, very difficult window. We do not have the finances. Uh, we don't have the wage budget. Um, it basically, we had no money to spend on players and we had very little money to offer out to bring players into the club. So it's been a very, very difficult the transfer window probably one of the hardest I've ever had to do I wouldn't be surprised if we got relegated this season because we just do not have the strength in depth uh, we have to keep our best 11 fit to even stand a chance and I just don't think it's going to be possible but uh, the outs uh, Adrian uh, Gurganov left the football club uh, on a free transfer at the end of the season. Uh, he was the contract was running down. He's an okay player. He didn't make any appearances for us last season. Went out on loan, uh, and we just kind of let that run down. And as far as uh, other players are going as well, released Martin Sandov. He was atrocious. Six point three five his average rate in from four appearances. He he really was terrible. So I just decided to let that contract run down as well, and we've let him go. Now as far as players have come into the football club, you will see loans, free transfer. I have uh, three or four other loans as well at the moment that are kind of uh, in the mixer. But a lot of the loans that I've been trying to do, they've rejected coming to the club, basically. Uh, it's, you know, been accepted by their parent club, but when it comes to joining, they're just not interested. We don't have the reputation. It's going to be a very, very difficult year. And I kind of feel like we need to use this season potentially as a springboard to move on. Uh, I just don't know if we are going to be able to grow Latex into something, um, you know, big, uh, make them a giant of Bulgarian football again, with the finances the way they are, it's just impossible, I just can't see us being able to build a team good enough to ever really compete, um, and still try to meet the objectives of the series, it's just one of those things, but anyway, I am waffling, let me show you the signings, Dylan Mertens is the first of the two loan signings that we've made, a 25 year old midfielder, he is coming up as uh, coming in as a backup, uh, no wages are being paid, so it is an ideal signing for us, and I think across the board, attributes wise, he looks like a very, very good player, like the fact that, you know, he's well rounded, and he can do a job in there, deep line playmaker, advanced playmaker, um, they're two that we do, use a lot and I think he'll be able to do a really good job for us. Um, the second of the loan signings is that of Nabshiv Sise, uh, a centre-back, a position we needed some depth in and uh, we've managed to bring this lad in. Now his mentals are not ideal, good determination but his mentals are not ideal, that bravery, composure, concentration but I like the heading, marking, tackling, I think they're very very good attributes, um, not the best getting off the floor. Uh, and he isn't the quickest across, across the ground either, but he is still a damn sight better than a lot of what we've got at the football club. So it made sense. And again, no money being paid. So saving ourselves a few quid on wages. Um, uh, Marian Kusev is a centre-back that's joined the football club. Really, he's one for the future, but he's being thrown in at the deep end. He's going to be playing in the first team. Um, I love the determination. So, so high. 20 years of age as well, so meet some of the objectives uh, met, you know, that the football club want us to meet in signing under-23 Bulgarian players. Uh, so, yeah, he, I, I think he looks okay, and if we can develop him, he could turn into a bit of a monster. So, yeah, good signing, that one. And one I'm really, really uh, excited about is that of uh, Svetislav uh, Petrov he comes in uh, for um, next to no money, basically. He, he comes in for initially nothing, but appearance-based, it can go up to about 5k, which I know isn't a lot of money as far as transfers are concerned. And he comes in from Ludogrets. Three-star current ability, £160 a week. He's going to be playing back up to uh, Racine, actually. That's, that's where I see him more as an advanced playmaker. 
I think his attributes make more sense in that position and that's where we're going to train him up. But I think he's a good signing and I think he will provide adequate backup to Raheem this season. Now, as far as future transfers potentially coming into the football club, they're all loans. Uh, you will see that the Marine Petkov, his uh, club just won't accept that. He's a very good looking player. Jon Bolensky was with us last year. We attempted to loan him. He rejected us. Uh, so, do you know what? Sod Jon Bolensky. We won't be trying to bring him back ever again. Harrison Ashby is one I'm looking at. at West Ham, a right back. Um, I'm hoping they accept this bid um, because he looks a very, very good player um, and I think he would do a good job. Lots being talked about uh, Harrison. Um, you know, as a West Ham fan, we hear a lot about uh, the youth players coming through and he's made some appearances, you know, in the cups and stuff and he's looked a very good player. So let's hope he's as good uh, on this as he is in real life. Uh, Mitkov is a right winger that I'm, uh, sorry, a left winger that I'm looking at. Um, I think he could do a very good job uh, with Bonev over on that left side. Uh, and then we've got Mitrev, who was actually on loan with us last season. Uh, he's a right-sided winger who I'm looking at. I need wingers for both sides, basically. So I'm having a little look at some wingers. I really like Mitrev when he was with us. Uh, I thought he had a, a, a pretty good season. So I would like to see if he could do a bit more of that. And then another one I'm looking at for the left-hand side is that of P uh, Papasov, uh, who I think we can all agree, although he's scout summary says he's a better player i don't actually think he's better than the the player that i've shown you uh previously um but yeah i'm still looking at these we're trying to bring them in but that is what it is the squad is what it is and this is the squad um it looks as though it's better than it is but a lot of that is because i have promoted up a few youth players uh so the squad is essentially what it was last season plus the signings i've just shown you uh to door to, uh, Topazov has come up from the Youth Academy just for strength in depth at the minute. I still don't think he's ready. Uh, and I'm trying to turn him into a right winger, uh, in all honesty. I think he would probably do a better job uh, What with him being right-footed. Yes, his pace is a little low, but I just think he would do a better job over on that side. Um, the other one is that of uh, Metadiev uh, coming in as the backup striker uh, to uh, Zivkov. Uh, again, don't think he's ready, but we have no choice. We don't have the money to sign players, so kind of got to promote within, uh, even if it is a little bit early. Same can be said for Stoyanovov. Uh, I don't think he's ready at all, and I actually think he would maybe be turned into a deep, uh, maybe a defensive midfielder slash centre-back. I'm not sure, but uh, again, he's not ready. Angelov was here last year. He is gradually getting better. I actually think he's improving, um, but his marking is still questionable. Uh, and there was one other. There was one other that I had promoted up, uh, and I can't see them now. It's not, um, it's not apparently obvious to me. But anyway, that's what we've done. They're the players that have kind of come up just to fill out and pack out the squad. But essentially, we are at where we were at last year. Loan signings have all disappeared. Uh, we bought Ivalo Hishtov back uh, for another season. He got injured in pre-season, so he's probably not going to be available for today, which is absolutely gutting. But I thought he had a good tail end of last season. So we brought him back for another year. But again, we are as we are. Uh, and it is just one of those things. Now, as far as the FBET League is concerned, we will click on it. You will see some of the games have uh, already kicked off. Ludogrets, top of the table. No surprise there. Uh, season preview. We are... We are touted to finish 13th now i'm not at all surprised i think we are going to get relegated just because we just don't have that financial power to uh do any damage on any of the teams in the division really uh and it's very very difficult you know with these teams to try and uh and beat the big boys you know straight from the off but if we stay up it'll be a miracle and it'll probably be one of my finest achievements but yeah 13th place is what we're looking at uh, this season, um, 500 to 1, basically. So it's going to be a very, very difficult year. That does have to be said. Um, now, the way this uh, the way this works, uh, the rules. So you have this preliminary phase, and then depending where you finish in the table, you either go into the championship, the second phase, or the relegation phase. Uh, and then from here, the second phase, you're basically competing for a European places playoff. Uh, the so basically it's the people who finish like top two I believe and in the relegation phase you go to the BFL playoff final so what that is is basically whoever finishes in a certain position in the league below and then in this league they would uh, fight it out to see who uh, you know is in in this division basically so uh, it's a difficult one it's a very very difficult one um, to maybe understand for a lot of people but we will go through it 
as we move along. Well, that's essentially how it works. Finances, we've got a good overall balance, but as you can see, it's all a bit of a mess at the minute. We're not really making a lot of money. Club visions haven't changed. Info hasn't changed. Although the one thing I do want to check is if yes i am favored personnel i thought i might be getting promoted and stuff um against the odds nice to see racemes in there as well um but i think that is it i think that is it uh Zhivkov. oh no that's not the Zhivkov. i thought it was the 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 the, the lad that we've got that batted it last season 14th media prediction uh so yeah a bit different to the uh league's prediction but it's going to be a hard season it is what it is but we are going to crack on with a game we're only going to play one game in today's episode and what we do at the end of this one i'll tell you where we're going to come back basically and what game we're going to try now i'm going to try my hardest to upload Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday from now on. I know I've been a bit slack. One of the reasons I didn't do the Saturday upload this week was because I was trying my hardest to get the transfer window done and just didn't get round to it. But anyway, my friends, let's get kicked off in this brand new season, shall we? Now, I haven't picked the team or anything, so we will uh, we'll quickly pick this team together. Kamini is here, signed on for another season, which is good to see. Um, I thought he was very, very good for us last year. Cisse, uh, what are you? You're predominantly right-footed. Uh, Nikolov, you are as well. Do you know what? We'll just go. We'll just go either way round. It doesn't really matter. He hasn't only just signed, but I'm, I'm still going to throw him in because I just think he's the best option for us in that position. Uh, the wings is going to be very, very difficult to try and pick. I'm actually going to throw Topoz in there. Um, Racine. We're going to go Bornev, and then we are going to have. Zhivkov up top and it's nice to see that the links all remain from last season that used to get reset uh, in the last edition of the game now the bench is um, the bench is the hardest part to pick at the minute because we don't have proper strength in depth we are honestly having to just make do um, in a lot of these positions uh, Sonev you can come in I think Sonev might be the other one. I think Sonev was the other one that we've promoted from within, ladies and gents. So there you go. Uh, feel free to pause that so you can have a proper look. Um, I'm going to throw Histov on the bench. I know he probably won't play, though, to be honest with you. And then Mertens makes up our match day squad. Uh, this is going to be a hard game, a very, very hard game. We are taking on Locomotive uh, Plovsdiv. I didn't show you the fixtures. I'll do it at the end. We only played like three pre-season games, I think, something like that. Two draws, a win. Uh, but yeah, this is what it is. And we're starting with a, a very difficult game, but they're all going to be difficult games. So as you can see, Kamini, Nikolov, Nikolov, Cissé, Ivanov, Dimitrov, Yankov, uh, Tobazov, uh, Rasim, Bonev, and Zhivkov. That's the team. Let's do it. And so here we go ladies and gentlemen um a bit more there's going to be a bit more apparently in the top league um from what i've been reading you get a lot of these sort of match day sort of stats and teams and all this sort of stuff come up and i'm gonna leave it i'm gonna let it play out for today's episode but yeah let me know what you make of that transfer window drop me a like if you think i've done a good job um and let me know potentially where you think we still need strengthening um it's difficult for me to get you involved in the transfer market in this series because finances and whatever but if we end up at a big team with a lot of money then you might be able to start getting involved but yeah if you've got any maybe suggestions or whatever year two football manager do let me know but that's uh that was decent we actually nicked the ball there um but it's going to come back at us good stuff though to win the ball from Niklov out to Niklov ball over the top Zhivkov's in he loves this he loves this oh what a goal from Radoslav Zhivkov he's chipped the keeper what a finish oh my god I was not expecting that that is a great finish from Zhivkov wow 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 there's me saying oh it's going to be a difficult year moaning away and we go and do that and now we win the ball back again are we going to create another chance uh Topazov, where are you going to go lad didn't have the pace to go past his man ball coming in oh my god it's 2-0 and it's bought over the back post it's 2-0 inside eight minutes i can't believe what i'm watching i genuinely can't believe it <laughs> there you go that shows you how much i know about this game and uh, this team, clearly. Um, two assists for Nikolov from the right-hand side for the fullback. I don't even think he achieved that last season. So he's already having the game of his life. Ivanov now. 
comes forward. Nice. Into uh, Racim. It's a lovely ball. It's a good header. It's over the bar this time. And it's really, really good. Really good from Latex. I'm amazed. Um, a few yellow cards are being dished out. I'm a bit worried about them. Our discipline last season wasn't the best. Um, and I don't tend to tackle too hard, but... It is what it is. It comes back out. Oh my god, how did that not end up in the back of the neck? I mean, he was jumping around like a jack in the box. And um, here we go. Heads that out. That's good defending from us. It is very good defending. But uh, six shots, two or three, oh, seven shots, three on target. Uh, very, very good. Early stages of the game. And, uh, you know, I know it's only the first game, but second place in the league already. Oh my god. We're going to get dizzy. Corner. Coming into the box. Oh, it's free! And shift off of the back post. Get in there. Oh, my God. I am amazed. I, I don't really know who's good and who's bad, though. That's the trouble. Like, last season, we slowly learnt who the good teams were. Um, and we ended up being the, the best team, obviously. But, but yeah, this is mad. This is actually mad. It's 3 nil at half-time. Few yellow cards I'm a little concerned about, but that is amazing. That is actually amazing. Um I just I just want them to keep it up. I, I, I just I don't want any silliness. They've made a substitution. Um something I, I, I want to do, I just, I just want to take a look at the opposition. Now I do a lot of this stuff. I don't really share this with you guys, but I do do a lot of this stuff. Um where I do like type marking pressing, you can you can change all this. If you if anyone would like a tutorial on this potentially, just let me know and I'll show you in an episode. But yeah, I do a lot of this stuff just to just extra sort of um, match day um, instructions basically for the players, and it, it tends to work. I know people that play football manager that don't even bother with those, so uh, it, it's not a tried and tested thing but i've always done it because it works for me and they go close with a shot there um and they're trying to come into it in this in this second half aren't they ball over the top oh my god oh wow 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 kamini managed to get there that looked like that was going to be one of those moments of uh calamity but it didn't happen ball comes wide though and uh, they've still got this football, and it's over the bar. And, uh, yeah, they're turning it on in the second half. They clearly got it in the ear roll from the manager, didn't they? Um, I have got lots and lots of yellow cards. I need to sort this out before someone gets sent off. Um, 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 who do we bring off? i tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring Yankov off, and I'm going to bring Petrov on. We're going to bring Dimitriov over. Racine is then going to go and play in the deep lying uh, position because he can do that. Um, I, I, I like the fact he can. Um, and then, do you know what? The defence and their yellows, I'm just going to have to leave for now. Um, are we going to have a chance here or is this as a result of me messing around trying to decide who I was going to bring on? I'm really not sure if this is going to be much of a highlight. Um, I used to pause when I made changes. But I got it in the year roll when I did the last series because someone said, oh, in real life, you wouldn't be able to pause the game to make changes. And it is actually a fair point. So I don't do it anymore. But you can miss stuff when you're messing around. But uh, Petrov is actually on for his debut, everybody. So that's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Here we go. Ivanov throw in into Petrov, who... Can't keep that ball down. And there we go. And I knew this was going to happen. This is why I was trying to deal with the yellow cards. And Cissé, on loan, on his debut, is now banned. And isn't going to be playing in the next game. And, um, yeah, it's it's an issue. It really is an issue. Um, I've, I've just bought Petrov on. I think I'm going to take Racim off and we'll bring Angelov on. Um, we'll pull these back. We'll put Petrov into the midfield. It should be okay. Um, a bit of me wants to pull off other players now. But I don't really have anyone to uh, to change things up. But yeah, it's a, it's a worry, isn't it? Um, balance. Do you know what? I'm going to go 
I'm going to go defensive. I never do that, but I'm going to go defensive because I want to protect this lead. But yeah, that's um, it's unfortunate. Um, I'm not. I'm not going to do that. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not going to do that because that would just be silly. Why would I put him in place of a winger? But yeah, I think we're going to win the game anyway, which is all good in the hood as far as I'm concerned. Petrov, we nearly scored again. We nearly scored again with 10 men. Um, that's an awful clearance. Oh my God, it's three on one. Are they going to score? No, they're not by the looks of things. Oh, it's a brilliant defending. It really is brilliant defending. It's been a, her a, a heroic performance. It does have to be said, to be fair. And that's going to go out for a corner. But it's been a very, very good day at the office for Latex. It really, really has. I can't complain. Header. Lovely job. Out again. Do you know what? Topoz has had a really good game, hasn't he? The youngster. And there you have it. 3-0. Get in there, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we lose Cissé. All because of silly red card. But I will take the three points. And so we find ourselves at the fixture screen. Now, there was a big question mark in my own head about Zhivkov and if he could do it in the league. Scored two goals in that game. So he's proved to me already that he can. Uh, as you can see, there's the results of the uh, pre-season. And what a way to kick off the brand new year with Latex. Um, you know, we're just going to have to see how this season goes. It's one result. Will we be able to continue this? We will wait and see. Now, as far as the season is concerned, I'm still going to move this on the same way I did last season. We're still going to skip through quite a few games every season because this series is going to take a long time to get to the point where we get to a Champions League final. We didn't achieve it with Project Scandinavia and I think we did something like six or seven seasons so it's going to take a long time so I am going to move it along the same way I was last year regardless of the opposition and, and who we're up against um, this season. So we've got Ludogrets here early stages. I know they're a big team but I am going to skip over it. I want to move this forward a bit. I definitely want to try and get this transfer window finished off as well. So that is a big thing. I think the transfer window slams shut at the beginning of August, I believe, um, uh, in Bulgaria. So I want to get that finished. Um, but I am going to move forward. Uh, that's six, seven. I think we'll come back for the beginning, like the, uh, the first fixture in September. I think that's what we'll do. We've got the cup game here. So I might skip the CSK and do Etar on the Cup game. I'm really not sure, but we'll definitely come back in September for two games um, because I think it'll only be a two-game episode. So I'm going to play a host of games. We'll see how that goes. And then when we come back, hopefully you'll be able to see a completed transfer window and uh, you'll be able to see how the early season form is going now as far as the uh as far as the competition screen is concerned Zhivkov up there in the goal scoring Nikolov with the assist that's lovely to see but uh, as you can see my friends Latex top of the table on goal difference it's one game played but if the season finished now we would be champions stupid thing to say but it's true anyway we're done we're done what a start and so there you are, my friends. We're done and dusted for our first episode of a brand new season with Latex Season 2, my friends. And it is uh, underway in a very, very good fashion. My friends, if you enjoyed today's episode, make sure you drop me a like. Um, make sure you subscribe if you're new. It's the best way to support the channel. We don't just do Football Manager here. We do a host of things. Planet Zoo. We've started doing Transport Fever 2. Um, yeah, it's just loads of stuff. Go check it all out, my friends. If you like this, you might like everything else. So, yeah, it's worth a try. But uh, we will be back, my friends, on Thursday with another episode of this fantastic season uh, season series and hopefully it's going to be a fantastic season i can't wait to get it underway but my friends i am off skis you stay humble you stay safe saluting you all see you all next time